In this segment, we're going to take a look at a fly ball coverage in the three umpire system with no runners on, and specifically the visual or lack of visual communication between our first base and third base umpire. So as this ball is hit, what we want to key in on is both umpires. And what we'll see in this play is we're going to have the first base umpire putting his hand up to the plate umpire and the third base umpire coming across the field holding up our first base umpire. So clearly on this play, and this is something that happens quite often when we're not on the same page and we don't look at each other as partners, is this will happen. So one thing to remember on a play like this, even if the third base umpire thinks this fly ball is shaded more to his coverage area, the first base umpire is the quarterback on this one. So as our third base umpire comes across the diamond, his eye should be locked on the first base umpire, giving that umpire the first crack at this, whether or not he's going to take it. The second that the first base umpire puts his hand up to hold up the plate umpire, the third base umpire has to realize now that it's not his coverage area. Now, as we look at the plate umpire on this, this is where the plate umpire is going to be a bit confused. Do I go up the first baseline as I'm supposed to in this system? Do I hang at home plate? So if this ball drops, if we have a diving catch now, here's the potential for a double call and obviously some confusion for our plate umpire. So to review this once again, uh, for this play to be officiated a little bit better, we would have our third base umpire slash across a diamond, our first base umpire hold up the plate umpire as he did. However, I would like to see our plate umpire start moving in the direction of first base just in case our first base umpire goes out on this. And then if this ball drops and turns into a rotation, plate umpire can head in the direction of third base.